1969 Ford Cobra. And you might be thinking, what type of Cobra? Like a Torino Cobra? No, it was just a Cobra. For 1969, this was a model of its own. It was a stripped down muscle car and it was supposed to compete with the Roadrunner. They took a Fairlane 500 to keep the cost low. Then they threw in some competition suspension, a blacked out grill, four speed was standard, and oh yeah, a 428 cubic inch Cobra Jet V8. We're talking about a compression ratio of 10.6 to 1, and it was rated 335 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque. As I already mentioned, a four-speed manual came standard in the Ford Cobra, but for only another 37 bucks, you could upgrade to the automatic transmission. It just happens to be what this car features, and it's a C6 three-speed, so it's relatively bulletproof, but it does leach away quite a bit of horsepower. 350 rear gears would have been standard on the Cobra, but this one has a tasty little upgrade and now has a set of 389 rear gears. That might give this Cobra a little more bite. <laughs> and then we get to the weight, and it's okay, but it's definitely not great, with driver 3,902 pounds. Even though the Cobra was supposed to compete with the Roadrunner, it really couldn't keep up in the sales department. In 1969, there were only 3,786 hardtop Cobras produced. Car and Driver Magazine tested one of these trouser snakes in January of 1969. It was a Ram Air Cobra Jet with an automatic transmission, just like our featured car, but theirs only had a set of 350 rear gears. Even with that, it was still able to run 0 to 60 in only 5.6 seconds, and the quarter mile in 14.04 seconds at 100.61 miles per hour. Interestingly, they also tried running the car with the Ram Air taped shut, and that cost them two-tenths in the quarter mile. 1969 Hearst Olds. For the second year of the Hearst Olds, it featured a wardrobe change, now with Firefrost Gold on Cameo White. It still featured a 455 cubic inch V8, and it was getting the D. Decode heads, not to mention a special cast iron intake manifold, and the compression ratio was 10 and a half to 1. This monster was rated 380 horsepower and 500 pound feet of torque. Inside, you'll find a Turbo 400 three-speed automatic transmission because that was the only option available, though it did have special tuning for this application. In a car equipped with air conditioning, the Hearst Olds had a set of 323 rear gears. If you didn't get air conditioning, 342 were standard, and that just happens to be what this car features. Or at least I should say the car that's featured in the race has 342 gears. This is actually a different car that I'm showing because I don't have footage of the one that's actually in the race. You guys get the idea. And then, oh boy, we get to the weight. And this thing with driver is 4,208 pounds. The Hearst Olds is pretty rare. There were only 906 produced in 1969, and then another three convertibles, but those were for promotions only. Motor Trend Magazine tested a Hearst Olds in June of 1969. It ran 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds, and the quarter mile in 13.98 seconds at 101.2 eight miles per hour. How about we see what these cars can do on the drag strip today? In the left lane. At the time of filming, the temperature was 73 degrees, humidity 51%, elevation 944 feet, and the barometric pressure was 29.25 inches. Let's check out that first round. Devin Conley, 69 Hertz Gold, 455 in the right lane. Chuck Grinnell out of the And in the first round, it's a Hurst Olds that takes home the win, running 13.80 seconds at 98.67 miles per hour. And in the other lane, the Cobra ran 14.02 seconds at 99.94 miles per hour. Let's see what happens in round two. In the left lane, 69 Ford Cobra, 428 Cobra Jet Automatic. In the right lane, 465. And the big Ford Cobra goes through first with a fourth and first old automatic. And the big 
before Cobra goes through first with a four. And in the second round, the Cobra bites back, running 14 flat at 99.85 miles per hour. Meanwhile, the Hurst Olds ran a slightly slower 14.15 seconds at 98.38 miles per hour. With this matchup tied up one all, let's see who wins that final round. Let's see what 97. Uh, next, Devin Conley, 69 Hurst Olds, 455. He's going up against Chuck Brunel on his company. In the final round, it's the Ford that takes home the win in the best of three title, running 14.01 seconds at 100.36 miles per hour. And in the other lane, the Hurst Olds ran 14.13 seconds at 97.58 miles per hour. A huge thanks to both of the owners for bringing out these cars. It was awesome seeing them on the drag strip. I'll catch you guys at the next one.